hello all welcome back to my channel so in this video we'll discuss uh, about a special type of concrete called as uh, fiber reinforced concrete uh, so we'll see what is actually fiber reinforced concrete and what are the various kinds of fibers we have so that we can add it to the concrete uh, also let's see the uh, advantages of using frc so generally fiber reinforced concrete is a composite material of course concrete is a composite material and to the normal conventional concrete you are adding materials called as fibers so that makes us a fiber reinforced concrete so the regular concrete plus fibers makes us the fiber reinforced concrete and the properties of this fiber reinforced concrete will change based on the type of the fibers you are adding to it you add different types of fibers due to the properties of the fibers the properties of the concrete also will change okay so here you can see it includes mixtures of cement mortar or concrete and discontinuous discrete uniformly dispersed suitable fibers so uh, whatever fibers you are adding to your concrete uh, are discontinuous they are not uh, continuous uh, and also uh, they are discrete means uh, you can separate each of the fibers into your, in your, when you take the fibers into your hands you can see very clear distinction between the fibers and they are uniformly dispersed so when you uh, pour the fibers or when you drop the fibers into the concrete see that they are uniform uniformly dis uh, dispersed or distributed into the concrete mix and see that the orientation of these fibers is random so as to ensure a uh, good tensile strength of the concrete so first of all what's the fiber so obviously fiber is a small piece of reinforcing material so fiber can be made up of any any kind of material it acts as a reinforcing material it uh, improves the tensile strength of the concrete matrix we all know concrete is very strong in compression but it's weak in tension so to improve the tensile property of concrete we add the fibers okay and coming to fibers all of us has have, have to remember one important term called as aspect ratio what is the meaning of aspect ratio of fiber aspect ratio of fiber is the ratio of length of the fiber to diameter which is l by d okay so the ratio of l by d so uh, most of the people uh, look very carefully into this aspect ratio and even there are quite uh, many studies going around the world where people try to explore the influence of aspect ratio on the properties of the concrete okay so uh, aspect ratio is the length of the fiber to the diameter of the fiber so length of the fiber will be generally mentioned in mm and diameter of the fiber will be generally mentioned in micrometer mu m okay so the ratio of this you can you need to convert the mu m into mm and then divide you will get the aspect ratio of your given fiber general uh, you know a general categorization of the aspect ratio or uh, general aspect ratio of fibers fall in the range of 30 to 150 but it may vary depending upon the type uh, type of fiber you are taking and its dimensions coming to the properties of uh, fiber reinforced concrete uh, what five uh, what properties influence the uh, frc or the fiber reinforced concrete is we have these five properties uh, first one is relative fiber matrix stiffness so for sufficient transfer of stress or loading it's essential to have lower modulus of elasticity of the matrix as compared to the fiber so generally fibers like nylon and polypropylene they have very low modulus of elasticity so they don't contribute to much of the strength but they help in absorbing large amounts of energy and have greater resistance to impact and also they have a greater degree of toughness so whereas fibers having higher modulus of elasticity like glass and carbon they promote strength and stiffness in the concrete so if you are using a nylon or a polypropylene fiber that would not impart much strength but they help in taking more amount of energy the loading falling on the concrete but when you are using fibers such as a glass or a carbon since they are having lower modulus of higher modulus of velocity they promote good strength to your concrete so now you have to check uh, with on which parameter you are working with your concrete based on that you have to select your fiber second property is volume of fibers so volume of fiber should be sufficient to make the concrete strong and stiff with increase in volume the tensile strength as well as stiffness will increase 
but it should also be remembered that higher percentage of fiber can sometimes cause segregation and harshness in your concrete means it makes your concrete uh, you know unworkable so you have to look into the quantity select a optimum quantity generally we replace uh, fibers or we add fibers into the concrete by percentage of weight of the binder next comes aspect ratio of the fiber just a uh, few minutes back or few seconds back i have discussed this property called aspect ratio uh, we already discussed aspect ratio is length by diameter so it's found that up to 75 so when we do l by d when you get the value of 75 the aspect ratio is directly proportional to the strength so up to 75 uh, aspect ratio strength and aspect ratio are variable but once the aspect ratio is crossing 75 uh, the aspect ratio and strength are becoming inversely proportional so more is the aspect ratio less is the strength next comes orientation of the fiber i already told you you have to uh, uh, mix the fiber such that they are uniformly distributed in the matrix and the orientation is you know um, uh, what do you call um, random orientation it should not be an even orientation why because it can take if the fibers are oriented in a single direction they can take load in, load only in one direction so they must be randomly oriented so experiments were conducted to observe the effect of orientation of fibers on strength and toughness of the concrete it was found that fibers that were kept in parallel to the given load offered more tensile strength and toughness when uh, compared to the fibers which were uh, oriented perpendicularly and randomly but uh, most of the times we always prefer random orientation next comes workability and compaction so when fibers are included in the concrete matrix the workability of the concrete will be obviously reduced and uh, this affects the compaction process as prolonged vibration does not have any impact uh, and it mainly depends upon the length and diameter of the fiber we are using one of the reasons for low workability may include poor orientation of the fibers in the sense uh, placing or uh, you know dropping of the fibers only at one particular place not proper mixing and uh, also when you uh, do not disperse the fibers properly or uh, and you, you you know when you compact it it may not be easy for us to compact or it may not be easy for us to mix first so we can uh, solve this problem in the sense when you are using fibers you can use a water reducing admixture you can use a plasticizer or a super plasticizer so that the workability can be enhanced on the other hand we can take the advantage of addition of fibers also next comes uh, the overall advantages of using uh, fiber reinforced concrete uh, this advantages are written based on all kinds of fibers we use so the very first property is uh, fibers reinforced concrete may be useful where high tensile strength and reduced cracking are desirable as i've discussed uh, mostly uh, concrete as we all know concrete is very strong in compression but very weak in tension hence to when wherever you are using only plain cement concrete without a uh, steel reinforcement there you can use these fibers so that the tensile strength of the uh, you know uh, concrete is increasing just i'll tell you a very small example uh, take a biscuit in, imagine a biscuit in your mind so biscuit uh, whatever biscuit you are trying to imagine imagine that it's made up of concrete so it's imagine it's a concrete slab so when you try to break it it's breaking very easily but imagine when there are fibers inside the biscuit obviously these fibers will try to retain back the position of the biscuit right similarly is our fibers in or similarly is our frc and it also improves the impact strength of the concrete means the resistance uh, of concrete against impact loading in the sense toughness of the concrete is increased and it also limits the crack growth so when you are considering a plain uh, cement uh, slab just imagine this is a plain cement slab with no fibers and i have another slab with fibers oriented in a random fashion all right now say suppose in this pcc or uh, due to maybe some improper curing or maybe due to shrinkage if i get a crack if a crack has been initiated its propagation is very fast why because there is nothing to stop it but once if you look at the second slab if i have a crack generated here uh, for it to propagate there are fibers who are becoming the obstacles so obviously the growth of the crack is getting reduced 
All right. Next, adding fibers to the concrete will improve its freeze and thaw resistance. Even though expansion and con uh, contraction of the concrete slabs in adverse uh, temperature conditions can also be improved when you add fibers to it. Increase resistance to plastic shrinkage. So, uh, even uh, the plastic shrinkage, what we discuss generally uh, in hardened concrete, like the shrinkage which is uh, happening after the uh, drying, when the uh, water in the pores is lost, that also can be compensated when you are using fibers. Next, uh, minimizes steel reinforcement. So, as I've told you, uh, fibers, see, fibers, when you're adding fibers, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use steel. That's completely different. When we are taking the help of steel, we are making concrete and steel to work together as a single member or a single material. So, uh, maybe when compared to plain cement concrete and steel reinforcement and uh, fiber reinforced concrete with steel reinforcement, obviously fiber reinforced concrete will allow less steel, means you can reduce the steel reinforcement. Why? Because already concrete is strong here with fibers. Next. Controls the crack widths, as I've told you, uh, not only the propagation of the crack, the width of the cracks also will be reduced due to these fibers becoming the obstacles. Reduces segregation and bleeding. So obviously the workability is less for such type of concrete. So the problem of segregation will be less. Let's see the uh, different types of fibers we have. We have steel fibers, glass, carbon, natural fibers, polyester fibers and polypropylene fibers. So we'll see one by one in detail. Remember one thing, whatever kind of uh, fiber we are adding to our concrete, that becomes that fiber reinforced concrete. For example, uh, when you add steel fibers, it becomes a steel fiber reinforced concrete. When you add glass fibers, it becomes a glass fiber reinforced concrete. So whatever fiber you are adding to the concrete, that type of concrete you will call it. So coming to the first one, um, we'll go with the same order here. So coming to the first one, which is steel fiber reinforced concrete. So in the sense, I'm adding steel fibers to the uh, concrete. So where you want high strength, where you want your concrete to resist high amount of stresses, high amount of loads, you can add steel fibers. Okay. So steel fibers have very good modulus of velocity. Just now we have discussed uh, fibers having high modulus of velocity, uh, sorry, modulus of elasticity promote higher strength. So you can check out steel fibers where you are expecting more strength criteria. Okay. Next, implanting these fibers in concrete deliver changes in properties of concrete like so how your concrete is getting enhanced by adding these fibers. Your concrete resistance to fire attack is increasing, resistance to cracking is increasing, resistance to bending is increasing, resistance to segregation, bleeding are increasing and obviously would fall our tensile strength. And where do we use such type of steel fibers uh, widely used in pitches? I told you, right, where the concrete is to be, you know, subject to or the concrete is subject to higher loading. You use this. You use in bridges, tunneling, refractory linings, beams, columns, explosive resistance structures, boats, etc. So these are the uh, steel fibers. And when steel fibers look uh, come into concrete, you can see here, uh, in between the concrete, you have the fibers. Second one comes the glass fiber reinforced concrete in the sense we are adding uh, glass fibers. So glass fibers you get in the market available readily uh, even by the name AR fibers, AR glass fibers. So they are alkali resistant glass fibers which are resistant against all sort of alkali and chemical attacks. Okay, So uh, in this GFRC concrete we generally add glass fibers by percentage of 4 to 4.5 um, by weight of the binder. So this concrete imparts translucency and even some cases transparency also. But this all depends upon the weightage of the fibers you are adding to the concrete. Such type of concrete can be used for decorative purposes and insulation purposes. Mostly used for decorative and insulation purposes. Of course this concrete can take weight but not as heavy as what we discussed in steel reinforced. Why? Because glass fibers are not so uh, you know, uh, uh, strong to take the loads when compared to steel fibers so not you cannot use this for uh, major load bearing purpose structures so these are significantly fragile in load bearing cases and are not recommended in beams and columns so you can use gfrc for small small purposes like small small making of the sle railway sleepers or small bricks like that but not for uh, load bearing structures so these are the glass fibers you can see so they are so delicate so fragile in nature Next comes carbon fiber reinforced concrete where you are adding carbon fibers to it. 
obviously carbon fibers are having high modulus of elasticity obviously this fibers when added to concrete will enhance the strength greatly okay so another important property regarding this carbon fiber is they are highly resistant towards chemical attacks and high temperature attacks expansion attacks and when you combine these carbon fibers with plastic resins you get carbon fiber reinforced polymers what you call gfrp composites where we use it for different kinds of structures mostly in rehabilitation next such fibers have very high tensile strength or very high strength to weight ratio and are very rigid so the more you add the fibers uh, the more strength it would impart to your concrete but again you have to have a look you have to decide a optimum percentage it's not that we are keep on adding the strength will keep on increasing at some point of time again it will fall down so these are the carbon fibers and this is the structure constructed out of carbon fibers next comes natural fibers so what are natural fibers natural fibers come from cotton you know cotton wool uh, you know horse hair and also you know coconut fibers jute fibers bamboo fibers all rice straw all are examples of natural fibers even we people have hair right that is also a natural fiber so even you know uh, this usage of natural fibers was not modern it's not now you know our ancient people used natural fibers you know in the flo in the purpose of flooring when they used to do the flooring they used to add this uh, you know rice straw the waste the, like they used to act like fibers at that time okay so um these natural fibers also impact good strength when compared to ordinary concrete but the disadvantage of using such fibers is that we have to be careful with the you know the swelling of these fibers and also when they have any moisture content they have to primarily dried up and then they have to be used so these are the natural fibers yeah next comes polyester fibers so polyester fibers are mostly used for all sort of industrial purposes mostly in industries and also in the manufacture of precast concrete products precast pre concrete elements precast concrete slabs this uh, polyester fibers will give you high resistance against cracking and shrinkage okay and we have two types of polyester fibers we have micro and macro uh, micro and macro fibers they are used to provide resistance to the formation of plastic shrinkage cracks so when you are primarily looking into shrinkage criteria of your hardened concrete then you have to look into this polyester fibers for example when you are doing concreting in very hot weather conditions where the loss of water from the concrete is highly more or more or very much possible to happen then you can add fibers such type of fibers what we have looked in our advantages here comes mainly due to polyester fibers okay uh, so these are the polyester fibers last we have polypropylene fibers so what people call it as in shortcut pp fibers okay this is the most popular synthetic fiber which is derived from polypropylene and you can use this pp fibers in wide variety of concrete applications so again used for controlling the cracking and drying shrinkages mainly plastic shrinkage and drying shrinkage so uh, exclusively i will uh, upload a video based on uh, for shrinkage of hardened concrete what is this plastic shrinkage why it is happening when it is happening what is drying shrinkage what is autogenous what is carbonation the complete concept of shrinkage i'll be explaining in the next video i mean i'll post a video in this playlist do check out there we'll see uh, what is this uh, shrinkage happening so primarily to control cracking and shrinkage so once shrinkage happens the next one would be cracking so to control this we can add polypropylene fibers and polyester fibers at the same hand okay based on the uh, availability and also they reduce the permeability of the concrete means they doesn't allow any sort of uh, fluid penetration or air penetration from your uh, outside into the concrete your com concrete becomes very impermeable in nature okay so these are the figures for polypropylene fibers so that's all is about my class uh, i hope everybody understood if you want the notes of this video please click on the description of this video you'll get a link you can click on the link and download the notes thanks for watching